What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from the Unknown Brewing Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is Scratch and Sniff Aromatic IPA. Getting a little bit of glare from the light there, so. Uh, and then there's the name of the beer right there. And that's the, uh, the can. Uh, notes from the brewer. This aromatic IPA is made with seven hop additions. All those hops are thrown in at special timed additions to create flavor, a nose full of goodness, and light bitterness. Uh, website says 4.8% ABV, rather. 4.4.8% ABV. Ken says 4.7. But uh, regardless, this is obviously a uh, fairly sessionable IPA. And since it calls itself an aromatic... IPA. I am going to uh, at least give the aroma a try. My nose is not great, as I've documented on uh, on these videos and on the website, but I am at least going to give it a try. Hmm. Definitely getting something. Maybe a little bit of pine. No, almost got a almost got a noseful there. <laughs> Maybe some citrus as well. Uh, looking at the color, that's uh, a little bit deeper than a, a gold color. Maybe an orange gold color. Uh, fairly solidly orange as I hold it up to the, the light. And pretty well see-through as well. It's holding on, hold on to the head fairly well as well. Getting maybe about a finger. There's maybe a finger and a half when I first poured it because it was pretty well up to the top of the glass. But, um... Yeah, I think it's holding pretty well, like I said. Uh, almost almost dunked again, so... Um, as I said, my nose is not very good, just overall. So, um, let me get to the drinking part. <laughs> mm. Tons and tons of pine. Far more than I was getting uh, in the aroma. <laughs> Which I think is really just... Uh, Confirmation of what I've been saying. A really, really massive hop bitterness as well. Um, dare I say surprisingly so. Um, dare I say overwhelmingly so, maybe. It's a... Uh, There's maybe a little bit of a floral thing going on towards uh, the very end of the, the drinking experience. And I think it's maybe even a little bit more prominent as a uh, as an aftertaste. So, again, it's in danger of being drowned out by, by massive amounts of bitterness. That's that. Yeah, that's a, that's pushing into palate records territory, at least for me. Um, I'm, I'm struggling to get a, get too much more out of it uh, than that pine and that little bit of a floral aromatic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not really getting too much else to be honest. The the two notes it's hitting are very, very strong. So, um, and it's just, again, it's, I think it's just a little bit too far past my, uh, past my level of enjoyment. I'm sure there's some hop heads that would, um, really find this level of, of bite delightful. I didn't find a, there wasn't an AB, uh, an IBU listing on the website. I don't think there's one on the can. Let me double check. No, I'm not seeing one. There's the ABV now. No, no IBUs on the can, unfortunately, but, um, again, a, uh, a Hophead's beer, uh, just very bitter, getting some pine as well, again, a little bit of floral, not really getting any citrus, at least not to me, doesn't have a whole, a whole lot of body either. 
There's maybe something in there that's a little bit green, a little bit vegetal in there as well. But, um, yeah. It, too, is hard to discern from the from the, the high amounts of bitterness. Um, so that is the Scratch and Sniff Aromatic IPA from the Unknown Brewing Company. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the description below. If you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.